So I'm going to use uh, the, the navigation as an example to illustrate the type of uncertainty that the robots have to deal with when working in a real environment. Imagine yourself is a robot and the command is given, so navigate to the car that is behind the building. This is a very difficult problem to you. No, <laughs> not as human. Yes, for people, it's a very easy problem. And, and we've been doing this a lot, so it's not that difficult. And in fact, about 85% of people come up with very similar solution. The map includes the overhead shot of the environment, and there is a building, and then people imagine something behind the building. But look at this initial image. That's the only information the robot receives. So if the robot uses its own sensing to process, then the robot only sees the front wall, okay? And then maybe what's in the field of view. So it is a very restricted information. The big question is, how do we fill this gap? So we also only see the front of the building, but we can very easily imagine the volume. And the object that's it's even far beyond our field of view based on the command or based on some common sense, okay? This project was something that I've done long time ago. So it, this is a kind of very typical problem that we have to deal with in robotics to solve problems 